Welcome to the Boston Duck Tours. I'm going to be your captain today. You guys will be my crew. My name is Gino Forget, otherwise known as Captain Weirdbeard. Well, I'm a driver working for the Boston Duck Tour Company. This is actually my first year, and I absolutely love what I do. <laughs> Not the easiest job in the world to get, got to be honest. You first have to be certified as a uh, Marine captain, certified by the Coast Guard to get your master's license. And uh, that takes over 120 days on the sea, over 700 hours of historical training and uh, technical training to be able to drive the World War II ducks. So it's an interesting job to try to get into, and it's not something I think you take lightly. I was uh, a hairdresser for about 20 years and I've had a series of other jobs like side jobs. Uh, like during the winter I've been a plow truck driver and I used to be a national educator where I would travel around the country as a hairdresser teaching on stage. So some of these skills by having the interpersonal skills about being a hairdresser and being on stage and knowing how to drive a big truck and it's like I had built up all these skills that actually led me to knowing that becoming a doctor driver was actually going to be a perfect fit of all these skills. And, you know, it wasn't planned, it just kind of fell into place. This is my last job. I will do this until I will no longer able to work. Yeah. And a great way to bond with people is to reference them. I talk to the people in the back so that I can find out who they are and where they're from. So sometime in the tour, typically in the beginning, I can mention their hometown. And they're like, oh, he actually knows me. And that's cool. Like if you're out anywhere and somebody, the, the greatest gift you can give somebody is to actually use their name. I've had this since I was about 22 years old. I'm 44 right now. I was at a Metallica concert, matter of fact, and James Hatfield, the lead singer, was wearing a facial hair that came down, out, and across, and up, and I was right front and in the pit, and I saw it, and I thought it looked pretty cool, and I tried to shave that onto my face. Actually, during my audition, one of the girls that was there, they didn't, they weren't remembering anybody's name, so she looked, and she uh, came up to me and said, I couldn't remember your name. You are a black shirt, weird beard, is what I wrote down. And I thought it was hilarious because I'd never heard anybody refer to my funky facial hair as weird beard. I just used to call my line beard. Then all of a sudden, the guys that I was training with all started calling me weird beard. So then it became, well, what is your character going to be? I said, I don't know, maybe just be like Vincenzo, Barber to the Stars, or uh, I can be like a pirate. And my trainer said, you know what? There it is right there. He goes, you got it. You're a pirate that does hair. You got to be Captain Weird Beard because it makes perfect sense. character is based on the whole bit at the beginning about being happy-go-lucky, today is going to be super fantastic and we're going to have a great day kind of day. Because a 12-hour day, to stay upbeat like that, you have to work at it. You can't, I mean, my leg could be broken, my house at home could be on fire, and I'm still going to welcome to the Boston Duck Toys, have a great time, you know, so you have to stay on like that. And that just absolutely takes work, it's like flicking a light switch, it's like, all right, bing, I'm on. <laughs> We're pulling up to a stop. I'm going to finish up with one little poem here. It goes like this. On behalf of pirates and poets, and yes, us hairdressers too. I'm sorry my tour is now over, and I must bid you all adieu. adieu. Guys, thank you very much for taking the Boston Duck Tour. Again, my name is Cap Weirdbeard. I hope to see you around town. You guys were awesome. Thanks a lot.